Coley. And who do I have the pleasure of being on the phone with today? This is Grady Buffy. I am the chair of African American Cultural Festival of Raleigh, Wake County. And that event is coming up soon, isn't it? Yes, we have an amazing three-day schedule uh, here in Raleigh, and I am absolutely ecstatic to uh, make this come to fruition this year. Wonderful. So give us a little history of the African American uh, Cultural Festival. Well, you know, it, it, it all started with uh, some extraordinary community leaders that uh, wanted to have the opportunity, have our community have the opportunity to celebrate uh, Africana and African American uh, history and culture. And we, they wanted to do it in a festival setting. And uh, this was during the era when we had, we had had the CIAA come and go basketball tournament. And we also had the MEAC basketball tournament come and go. Mm -hmm. And so they, so Raleigh was, and Wake County was anemic to uh, cultural festivals that celebrated the African American experience. So you had a lot of uh, community leaders. They created something out of a labor of love. And 10 years later, we are the largest African American festival in the state of North Carolina. Where does it take place in Raleigh? So we're downtown. We're at the City Plaza, which is right here on Fayetteville Street. Uh, we have a lot of activities and a lot of things that go on. It's a very family-friendly event. Uh, we have everything from the vendor marketplace, uh, the art gallery walk, uh, and as well as our family village, our family tent. Uh, so, as well as the main stage where we will see our uh, notable performers uh, on that stage. So we, we have a lot of moving parts and a lot of uh, uh, a lot of opportunity for people to be engaged in, and it became a literally it became a family reunion. Wow, have you always had? Uh, has it always been three days? Three days of events? No, so. We, um, so this year we did something a little different. This is our 10th year. Mm -hmm. So the reality was that uh, our board pretty much huddled up and tried to figure a way uh, that we can celebrate the African American, Africana, and Caribbean American experience and uh, try to do it in, in two days. And what we came to a realization was it wasn't possible. Uh, we, we wanted to make sure that we captured a lot of different areas of our, of our culture. And so what we did was we, we decided to make new friends and, and open our, uh, our door uh, to new opportunities uh, because we wanted to make sure that we engage our community and, and make sure we do right by the African American experience. Uh, mm -hmm. So with that said, we did do, uh, we do actually have uh, two events that uh, are, are truly one of our, are truly our symbols for this year uh, on top of the festival itself. Uh, August 24th, we will be uh, breaking the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest Soul Train Line Dance. Oh, where are you having that? Uh, that is going to be at uh, Chavis the Community Center. Uh, and you can register for that. You can go on our website at aacfestival.org. You can register for this event. And it's going to be really unique. They breathe. The most That's significant right. thing is uh, Guinness does have rules that go along with this attempt. Uh, one of the rules is you got to be dancing on the side. So when it's your turn, you got to be side to side, just pretty much clapping and dancing to the music. Mm -hmm. And then when it's your turn, you just go down. That's so that's on the 24th. And so then the next week, what, what, tell me what that starts on Friday? Yeah. So, right. So that, so Friday, August 30th, uh, we are actually doing something that Raleigh has never seen before. And we put together a event called Afrochella. Mm -hmm. And so, and then again, that was one of our brainstorming sessions where, uh, my board and our staff kind of sat there, get, sat around and said, you know, what can we do in, in form of a celebration of this 10 year experience? Mm -hmm. And so what we decided to do was, you know, take the, take the, the significance of 
the Africana experience and be able to dress in African garb and come out to the city of Raleigh Museum. And we're going to be out there celebrating. We're going to be in African attire. We have live music. We have uh, a, a phenomenal DJ. We also have a Caribbean dancing group that's going to be there. And it is going to be really something uh, something to see. The only thing you can describe it is if you take coming to America and Wakanda and smash them together, that's <laughs> Afro <Afro-Cella. laughs> So it's something you don't want to miss. You're going to be upset. You know, tickets mm-hmm. are, are, are moving very fast, though. Uh, and so, you know, and, and you also want to go to Eventbrite. You're going to want to put in Afro Cella. Okay. Or you can always go to our website at aacffestival.org and uh, you can actually get your tickets there. Uh, it is a fundraiser, mm-hmm. and uh, so it's but it's worth the effort. We, and so what we wanted to make sure, um, and, you know, and, that, and I think that's one of the emphasis about the African American Cultural Festival is, you know, we, we, we take it seriously to pay homage, and we take it to those that paved the way for us, but we also take it serious to give opportunity for vendors of color to to you know uh, companies that that patronize our business mm-hmm. and they get an opportunity to have a platform. You know, even when I have Procella event, it is sponsored by uh, uh, BMW. Okay, it's also sponsored uh, by Rex Healthcare. And uh, Rex Healthcare has been a part of uh, the African American Cultural Festival for the last ten years, and they just like, think, "Well, what do we? What can we do to, to be even more?" Mm-hmm. Um, and BMW realizes that you know people uh, of color that you know we we buy too, you yes, know, yes. and so they're going to actually have uh, BMWs outside in front for people to look at. Mm-hmm. And, I guess kick tires and say, "Hey, well, I got to get one of those." So. Wow, that's but it's going to be a great experience. It's, okay. it's going to be something that no one's ever seen before. And then what takes place on Saturday? When so Saturday, the and again, we have so many moving parts uh, on Saturday that's really going to be uh, a lot for the entire family. So with our, with our art gallery walk, you know, that gives them, it gives the family opportunity to uh, look at local artists and then take a look at the different art that's available Mm -hmm. uh, that will be on display. Uh, We also have a vendor marketplace where uh, people uh, come from all over the country and they have the opportunity to sell uh, various, you know, either from uh, everything from Africana uh, design clothing all the way to uh, the food uh, as well as uh, you know, we, we got a person that uh, is an African-American children book writer. Mm-hmm. And he does a great, I mean, every year he comes and sells out his book. So it gives us an opportunity to see people, be in front of people that you may not normally be able to see. And yes. in turn, uh, it gives these businesses uh, an opportunity to, you know, make money where, you know, it might be a little more difficult on on other areas and other different festivals uh and then we have the family village where we we take advantage of uh educational and hands-on opportunities for the children we do everything from drumming to fitness demonstrations to choirs um, you know puppeteers and the list goes on and on but it is a family interactive area Absolutely. And then, uh-huh. uh, we, we also have the Village Tent. And the Village Tent is also another interactive uh, opportunity where we'll have everyone from uh, Chicago Steppers uh, to um, yoga experience, and, and the list goes on. You know, one of the things that we're going to be doing this year, which is very cool, I thought, is we're going to teach people how to wrap, do the hair wraps. You know, uh, you know, we have an African stylist that's coming in, mm-hmm. and she's gonna be doing teaching people how to wrap their their hair. You know. So now, is this wrapping your is it wrapping your hair or wrap or a head wrap? Hair wraps. Yeah, there you go. So I'm I'm, I'm telling I'm telling my my boldness. So I don't know the difference, but yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 
hear about all the fabulous talent that's going to be on the main stage at the African American Cultural Festival when On the Phone with Phyllis continues with Grady Bussey in part two.